All right, so we've talked quite a bit about uh, elastic plastic materials, um, and a lot of this has to do with metals. So now I wanna switch gears a bit and see if we can talk about ceramic properties a bit. Um, and to start with this, we're gonna do a bit of a demonstration so that you hopefully have a uh, maybe a, a grasp of what ceramic mechanical properties are like. All right, so this goes back to the other demos that we had. And again, I must tell you that they're mostly food related, uh, but I want you to do the, the kind of the same thing that you did um, with those. And I want you to find an object uh, like one of the ones I have down below. Um, so if you have some veggie straws, um, that would be a good uh, uh, specimen here. If you have some pretzels, uh, pretzel twist or rods, whatever, uh, maybe you have a piece of chalk, uh, try to find something like that. Um, and so what I want you to do is the same thing you did before, uh, is try to fracture your sample and um, kind of note the type of stress state that you think you're loading the sample with, and then see if you can describe the mechanical properties of the sample after it's fractured. So uh, grab a test sample, uh, do that, uh, try to fracture it, answer these questions, uh, put that in the quiz if they're there or just write it on a piece of paper and then come back and uh, I'll do a demo with you uh, for what I have in front of me. So uh, pause it and come back and we'll discuss. All right, so hopefully you've had a chance to um, do this demo yourself. Um, like I said, uh, you can use uh, veggie straws. I actually have uh, cinnamon apple straws. That's what I have here. No product placement, but that's just uh, what I have available. Um, you could also use uh, a pretzel of some some kind, a piece of chalk if you had. Um, I actually just thought of, uh, you know, you could use uh, some some pasta, something like that, right? So let's go ahead and, uh, and take a look at this and see if maybe yours matches up with what I got. So I've got a couple pieces here and I'm gonna try some different stuff to kind of match maybe what you did. So let's kind of try what we did with the Laffy Taffy and um, the, uh, the rubber band or the hair scrunchie, right? So if we do that, we're kind of putting in tension. So we're trying to pull it apart, right? So if we do that, if we try to pull it apart, uh, you kind of notice that it's hard to do that, right? It's hard to pull it apart because to do that, you kind of have to, to press down really hard on this area, right? That's akin to the, the grip area of your tensile dog bone. And so this is true of ceramics, is that they're really difficult to test in tension. They're typically not tensile tested because as you can see here, it's a smaller piece now. I just crushed it. I just crushed it where the grips were and I didn't really test it very effectively. I just basically crushed it. So this is true of ceramics. They are difficult to grip uh, because of the properties, right? So like you saw, it just uh, shattered into a million pieces. So this is not typically done. Um, so that's not a viable test. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is, you know, think about how you would naturally want to break this, right? So if you kind of just uh, hold it like this and then, you know, applied force, you're going to snap it in two, right? That's probably how you've done things like this if you want to break them, right? You just snap them. Right, and that does it, and you can see a, a clean break. And when we do that, we're basically trying to bend it, right? We're trying to bend it uh, kind of this way, actually. We're trying to bend it and break it, right? And so this is known as a bend test. Uh, so it's under bending stress, right? So if you did that, we're talking about bending. If you tried to put it in tension, you know, you exhibited maybe some of that crushing that I tried. Um, and so for me, you know, I'm looking at this and I notice that um, it broke, right? I was able to fracture it, but all of these pieces, I can't remember which ones go together now, but right, it didn't change shape. It just broke, right? Breaking isn't plastic deformation. We weren't able to mold this like we molded the Laffy Taffy uh, and it didn't have a, a large amount of elastic uh, behavior like the the scrunchie, right? That had a lot of um, elastic strain before it would rebound back to its shape. So these are known because of what we talked about earlier in terms of ductility, not a lot of plastic deformation or strain, and therefore these are brittle materials. So ceramics tend to be brittle, which means that they fracture with very little change in shape, and that's what we saw here. And because of that, 
they're difficult to test in tension, as you saw from all these little pieces that were where I was trying to grip it, right, in tension. So that's very common for ceramics. They're brittle, and so it affects how we can test them. Uh, we can't typically do tension test. And so we could do compression, that's a little easier to do. But a lot of times we do this bending test. We actually just bend it. The, even though this is what my hands are doing, right? It's just a very simple test. This is in fact, very similar to what we do um, with ceramics and other brittle materials. And that's what we're gonna talk about in the next section is how we determine ceramic properties based on these ideas.